G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel and today we're gonna go through who we're tipping for round 12. It's the first week of the buy rounds which sucks for AFL fantasy and footy fans in general because there's less games to watch. But to be fair, the Cricket World Cup is on so we're a little bit spoiled, I'm definitely getting around that. If you haven't already, I have uploaded a footy vlog from my trip to Optus Stadium to see the Eagles and Bulldogs on my other channel, Jesse Thomas, so if you're interested in that, you should check it out in the link in the description of this video. But to move past the shameless self-promotion, let's get into the games of round 12. First up, we've got Richmond hosting Geelong at the MCG on the Friday night. On the Tigers side of things, they'll be going into this game wanting to right the wrongs of last week where they were pants by a rampant North Melbourne. Yes, rampant. For the most part this year, the Tigers have stood up pretty bravely where injuries have threatened to ruin their season. Their last five games have demonstrated a bit of inconsistency, however, with three promising wins bookended by two pretty disappointing losses. To be fair, I don't think they were poor last week. I'd say that North Melbourne just looked red hot. On the positive side for them, Bachar Hooli has put in back-to-back -back PB performances and it looks like he's in the form of his life. Also, if you look at Dusty's recent three-game form line, he's threatening on returning to 2017 form. Now, the Cats have looked almost infallible at times this year. What's impressive about Geelong is their balance between all three lines, forward, mid and back, where previously I think they were a bit criticised for being a bit too midfield heavy. Admittedly, the Cats haven't had the toughest run of fixtures in recent games and the Tigers will probably be their toughest opponent since round four. If not for the Tigers' extensive injury list, I'd have been tempted to tip Richard in this game. In fact, I'm still a bit tempted because as impressive as the Cats have been, they're probably due for a loss soon. I'm not going to go that far this game. I'm still going to tip the Cats to win a close one by eight points. The second game of the round is Carlton hosting Brisbane at Marvel Stadium and this is a really interesting game for mine. The Blues have obviously been in the news all week with their sacking of coach Brendan Bolton. In hindsight, it was probably a long time coming because when you look at it analytically, the Blues have become one of the worst performed sides in recent memory. Last week in particular was really lackluster and the Blues haven't really recaptured that spirit that saw them almost beat Collingwood. This week is an opportunity for them to snatch a win in Teague's first game because I think the Lions look a little bit vulnerable when they travel. On the Lions side of the ledger, they grounded a pretty tough win last week over Hawthorne at the Gabba. They currently sit 7-4 and four, and this game is a huge opportunity for them to consolidate their top four credentials with an away win in Melbourne. One of the most interesting aspects of this game is seeing two of the best clearance mids in the competition go head-to-head, -head, Lockie Neal and Pat Cripps. A big factor in this game will be how Pat Cripps returns to form because he's been pretty average in the last few weeks. On paper, I'm looking at the Brisbane midfield and I just think it's vastly superior. You've got Neil, Taylor, Robinson, Lyons in good form at the moment. I'd like to think Carlton will improve this week, but I'm going to have to tip Brisbane. I'm going to say the Lions win this by 29 points. Third game of the round is Gold Coast hosting North Melbourne up at Metricon Stadium. Now, after an early period of being continually competitive, I do wonder if this young Suns list is starting to look a bit fatigued. Admittedly, last week they were picked apart by one of the best sides in the competition, GWS, over in Sydney. And the week before that, their opponents were Geelong, who sit top of the ladder. But I can't help but feel that the Suns players might just have their eye on the bye in two weeks' time. They have every right to see this game as winnable because, as far as I can remember, they've beaten North at least twice in Queensland. But I do think they're getting North at a bad time. North brought an intensity and a physicality to Richmond who couldn't match them for most of the night. They're playing with a renewed spirit at the moment and they absolutely dismantled Richmond to win by 37 points. Points. Like I said in True Footy Reacts, my personal view is that this performance was actually building for a period of time and I don't think it has that much to do with Reece Shaw taking over as coach. This improvement in North's form does intrigue me and I'm interested to see how it will stand up in a game that will undoubtedly be a slugfest. I'm going to tip North to win this and they're going to win by 25 points. Next up we have one of the matches of the round in my opinion and that's Adelaide hosting the Giants over in Adelaide Oval. Last week, the Crows stole an absolutely crucial last gasp win against the Demons up in Darwin. One player I probably haven't talked about enough on this channel is Brad Crouch. He, along with Rory Sloan, are absolutely lifting up that Adelaide midfield at the moment. Last week, he was huge. He had three goals, 29 possessions, and was instrumental in lifting his side from a 31-point deficit to winning by two points. In light of recent losses to Brisbane and West Coast, it was probably a result they needed, so it may galvanise the group. This game will present a really good opportunity for the Crows to test their medal against one of the best sides in the competition. Adelaide Oval hasn't always been a real happy hunting ground for the Giants, although they did get the W against the Crows there last year. With the composition of the top four the way it is and how even it is, this is a really crucial game for the Giants in my opinion. If they lose it, they could potentially slip behind both Collingwood and West Coast should they win their games this week. Whitfield being ruled out for a month with a collarbone is an absolute blow for them because he's obviously one of their best players, although to be fair, they bat pretty deep at the moment. 
I find this one tough to tip, but I'm actually gonna go with the home side in this one. I'm gonna tip Adelaide to win a thrilling game by 14 points. Next up, Sydney hosts my beloved West Coast Eagles at the SCG. Now, while the Swans, I'm sure we can acknowledge, are having a bit of a downer year, one thing they've remained all year is competitive in games. While they may have dropped their last two games, they did come up against Collingwood and Geelong, and to say the least, they were in both of those games for most of the night. Guys like Parker and Lloyd continue to be consistent for them, but one player I think has really stood up for them this year is George Hewitt. He's lifted his production significantly this year, and last week he claimed 29 possessions and had five clearances. I reckon there's a bit to be said for the potential mental edge that Sydney have over West Coast going into this game. Last year, the Swans were the only side to beat the Eagles twice in their premiership year. They also have history on their side as the Eagles haven't won the SCG in 20 years. To be fair though, this is probably the best Eagles side to actually travel to the SCG because I don't think they traveled there in 06 in their flag win. And to be honest, it's also probably one of the worst Sydney sides since 1999. When you think about it, if the Eagles don't beat the Swans at the SCG this week, surely they never will. The Eagles come into this game in red hot form. I talked about Darling kicking six goals and regaining some important confidence, but I've been more impressed with the midfield trio of Shuey, Gaff and Yo have really stood up in recent weeks. I'm gonna say the Eagles break their 20 year hoodoo here and they win this game by seven points. The final game of the round is Collingwood hosting Melbourne at the MCG. With one week to go until their bye, the Pies will no doubt want to make amends for last week's debacle going into the mid-season break. In hindsight, it may have been a loss that was due. The previous three weeks, they kind of just did enough to get the points, but didn't really look convincing. Their loss last week cost them a spot in the top two, and I think that'll be a timely reminder for the playing group about how even this competition is. On the positive side for them, Jack Crisp is continuing what will possibly be an All-Australian season, and also Skipper Scott Pendlebury is turning back the clock week after week in the midfield. With the Eagles breathing down the Magpies' neck for third spot, this is a really important week to get it right for Collingwood. Now, the Demons, on the other hand, I think may have cooked their season, as I said in another video. They did lead the Crows by 31 points in the third quarter last week, only to lose by two points at the death. Now, we've seen teams make the finals from worse win-loss ledges than the Demons have at the moment, and I do think the Demons have the talent to lift themselves back into finals contention, but I'm pretty much at the point where I'm confident I'm not gonna see that talent emerge this year. For me, it will be interesting to see how the playing group responds after last week. Will they be galvanized or deflated? The Demons have been playing improved football in recent weeks, but they've just fallen short each time. On the positive side, I believe Jake Lever is facing a fitness test to be available this week. So that could be a bit of a positive lift for the playing group. As usual, I'm sure the teams will be announced before this video actually gets uploaded. So I probably just made an ass of myself if that didn't happen. For me though, I'm expecting a good response from Collingwood after last week's loss. I'm gonna tip the Maggies to win this one by 37 points. So that is all the games we have in round 12. Let me know your tips in the comments. I do always enjoy reading them. And this week I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a wild card question. Which game of the six this week do you think will be the closest and what will the margin be? And also which game will be the biggest blowout? Thanks for watching though, guys. If you enjoyed the video, throw us a like. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Then what I want you to do is get two friends to subscribe and then tell them to get two friends to subscribe and then so on and so on. And soon, bam, a million subs. No, I am just kidding, guys, kinda. I am trying to get the channel to 10K subs by the end of the year. So if you can do anything to help us out, just share the video, like it, comment, whatever. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks guys. I will catch you next week on the True Footy YouTube channel. Cheers.